Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about juvenile detention hearings in Arizona. Now, if a juvenile is arrested or taken into custody, the court has 24 hours in which the prosecutor has to bring the juvenile in front of the judge for a detention hearing. What does that mean? Well, the judge will decide whether the juvenile can be released to a third party adult. That would be a parent, a grandparent, a relative, or a legal guardian. Now, if that person avows that the juvenile will be at the next court date, then the judge can release the juvenile with release conditions. These conditions can be curfew, home arrest, a probation officer who calls in to monitor, and also an ankle monitor or GPS device. Now the judge will not release the juvenile if the juvenile will not be present at the next court date, and they've said I won't be here, if they're likely to commit a crime in which they can hurt themselves or others, if there's a hold from another jurisdiction for another criminal complaint, if the best interests of the child require them to be protected, what would that be? Terrible home environment and the judge says, no, we're going to keep them. Or there's a gang that's going to seek retribution. The judge will keep them, uh, the juvenile in custody. And lastly, the judge can hold the juvenile for an adult transfer. What is an adult transfer? That's when the judge says this is a crime that deserves to be prosecuted in the adult system. Now if you go to our website, dmcanter.com, you can go to the section in, in juvenile that talks about transfer hearings. Now if you or a loved one have been charged with a juvenile offense, give us a call. It doesn't cost anything to meet with us, but it does take about 30 minutes. You just come on in, we'll sit down for free, we'll cover your case from top to bottom, and hopefully we can find a way to make this all better. Take care.